lines last week that you didn't see previously this season? Well, he had three touchdowns, which was nice. <laughs> I don't know, he just played well. I mean, things kind of went his way last week, and he made some great plays when he had the opportunity. He, since he's been back, he's practiced really well, which uh, which was encouraging. And, uh, you know, sometimes things happen uh, for guys at different times. So we're happy for Jason. He's Like I said, he's been a pro the whole time. I know I'm not going to bring up particular stats, but there's one stat I know that you do pay, or at least I, I think you pay attention to, that's time of possession. Mm -hmm. And you guys, in your losses, or five losses last six games, you guys have really not been on the right side of that. Is that something that you're paying attention to in terms of, you know, adjusting play calling in certain respects? Because, I mean, winning time of possession goes a long way to, to really maintaining momentum and helping win a game. Yeah, there's no question. I mean, time of possession is important. There's a lot of other stats that are that are more important, but um, it, I don't change play calling a whole lot. I mean, I call the plays that I think they're going to work offensively and, and keep us on the field. You know, I, all those things come down to execution offensively and defensively. And um, I've never bought into the you know we've been on the field. I mean, you can't just call plays based on on what's happening with time of possession. And, uh, it's a defensive job to get off the field. It's an offensive job to stay on the field, and uh, um, I don't think anything will change there. I, I do think it's it's a it's a factor when you control the ball. It's it's, it's a good thing. What, what are the more important stats? Here? Turnovers, penalties, final score. <laughs> I hear you've been I hear you've been uh, really getting on the guys about one particular frustrating penalty that's been outside. Well, yeah, I mean it's it's. Things that we've been stressing all year. Gino, come and on. Gino. Little things like, I mean, there's, like I've, I've told you a million times, there's things yeah. like a, an occasional holding call or a face mask, yeah. things that are going to happen in football, but you can't hey. fucking line off both yeah. sides. Yeah, I mean, that's, it becomes mind-boggling. But it, it, it really, it now makes, you know, it's really, really a, a point to kind of correct. Come on, Jaleel. Well, it's been, all it's been way, talked down. about yeah. all year, yeah. and uh, I've made it more of a point to involve myself, whereas it's generally been some other coaches that are doing it. But, uh, yes, it's been, we haven't been coaching in the line-up offside. Scott, what's the um, Don Trellinman stance looking for the week? We haven't made a decision yet. Looking good, though, so far? He's looking good. It's um, kind of like Ricky. You know, he's looking good, and it's a, a situation of what's in his best interest for, for the long term and taking into account where we're going, the weather, and, and how healthy he is. There was... Um, you know, there was a play yesterday where I, I didn't think he looked as good as he'd had. So uh, we're going to keep our eye on him and, and we'll make a decision tomorrow. What about Sammy Trank? Sammy's doing some good things. He's gotten better since he's been here. Uh, the thing Sammy gives you is he gives you some, some return help if something were to happen to Chad. So um, he's going to get game time decision? Yeah, those guys both will be will be kind of in the next day or so. Scott, how much will the early game on Saturday affect how you approach the, your game? Because obviously if... Hamilton loses, you clinch second spot, you can maybe approach it differently, or do you not think like that? I believe we play first, don't we? No, no you can play four, no. four o'clock, they play one. Yeah, it, it won't affect how we're, how we're playing the game. Uh, we're going to play it to win, and we need some momentum, regardless of what happens with uh, with the other games. And, uh, you know, we're just trying to go on the road and play good football and get one win, and, and we're not focused on anything past that. Will you try and stop your players from finding out the score, or kind of I tell know, I mean, I can't. You can't. I mean, they got, can't stop. They've got fun. Yeah, I can't. There's nothing I can do about so, that. Okay. okay. Don't shoot the messenger. Aaron Hunt went on Twitter two days ago okay. and said that he has been speaking to players in this team who say that the team is not prepared defensively going into games. <laughs> I have a comment on what Aaron Hunt's saying on Twitter. <laughs> um, is he lying? I, I don't believe he's telling the truth. Are you kidding me? I mean, I trust Chris Jones implicitly, and uh, there's nobody I'd rather have. There's no coordinator, no coach in the league. I'd rather have Chris Jones, and uh, what that guy says is one of my concerns. What do you tell your players about Twitter? We have a policy, and uh, it's come up a couple of times during the year, but, um, I mean, basically what we tell them is it's an extension of the media, and as soon as you hit send, it's it's free game for, for anybody, and you've got to be accountable for that. And uh, I don't want to say we discourage it, but we try to educate them as to the ramifications of, of what you can say in a weak moment late at night when you're mad about something and you can't ever take it back. So uh, we've been pretty good, I think, up to this point as far as as far as, as far as I know. <laughs> <laughs> You've had pretty good weather all year long, yeah. all your games, and now you're going out to the West where 
the weather could be horrible. Yeah. Do, do you change anything? Are the players ready to, to play in that kind of weather? We've talked about it. I mean, I, I try to let them know of what we're expecting the weather to be, which is which is cold. Um, play calling may change slightly based on, on the weather and, and how the flow of the game's going. Um, I think it's a, a mindset for the players. I don't think there's a lot you can do to prepare for it. I don't think you, you know, I wouldn't change anything to, to try to get them into colder weather. There's not much you can do. And uh, no matter what you do, it's going to be cold come game time, whether you practice them the day before or not. So, uh, so you're not going to do the walkthrough and no. inside? Or, you know. No. Did you put any extra emphasis on Corey Sheets, given the, the possible weather conditions? Yeah, I think we put some plenty of emphasis on their run game, based on what happened last week. So, um, yeah, Chris is, uh, is locked in. And your run game, too. You must have more plays planned if it is a cold and... Yeah, day. we... Um, I like the run package we have this week, and uh, um, you know, hopefully we'll execute it and you get a chance to stay on the field and do some of the things Matt was talking about with, with time of possession. And uh, if it becomes a win game, which it, it usually does there, then uh, then I think we have enough ammo to go at it. Yeah, one. Scott, with Jason, I think all three of his touchdowns last week came with you guys in the red zone and had trouble punching it in at some points this season. Could he be kind of the missing link there when you think about a red zone offense? Like, is, is there anything about his game that lends itself to that? I don't know. In particular, I mean, Jason just played well, and the, the catch he made over uh, the first one, I guess, on the fade route was really a nice play. It was contested throw, and he went up. And, um, and made a, a tight catch in traffic. Uh, the other two, he was fairly open on, and, and uh, you know did a nice job of hauling him in still. But that first one was a big one for us, momentum-wise, and and uh, you know just a jump ball really that, that he went up and took. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Playoff implications aside, yep. how big of a game is this in terms of just boosting this team's morale a bit? I mean, you get in a losing streak, and yeah. I mean, I'm not on the field, but I'm sure that gets in your mind after a while. And, and just to, I mean, aside from the, the implications of the game, I mean. How important is it to, for this team to get its, its swagger back that it had kind of mid-season in those yeah. two games against Hamilton? That's sort of I think it would it'd be important. We need to get some momentum uh, going if, if we are able to, to make it into the playoffs. But um, at this point, all we need to worry about is trying to get a win. We can't, we can't focus on any of those things past this week. And uh, um, I think our guys are ready to play.